So I'm here with Juan right now. And in the mail, his NVIDIA exhaust just came in for his FRS. We're using it as a TV stand right now. But we're about to open this bitch up. Woo. Dude, I'm hooked. Oh, here. All right. Mm. Don't cut me on. <laughs> The last knife. The last knife. I use this shit. Mm. You got money. Mmm. <laughs> oh. Got sticker. This is all I want. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Uh, I'll just take everything out of the box to make sure we have everything first. So here's the mid pipe, I think. I don't know. I don't know how this exhaust works. All I know is here are your silencers. I don't want no silencers. Oh, never mind. Two silencers? I thought, I thought two, or one of them was two. Oh. Um, packaging is super nice. Bro, I can fit in here. <laughs> this is fucking coffee. That shit sure was so tall as me. That might be my bed. You ain't got no bed. Alright, late. Alright, guys, the reason I'm filming this video is because I want to show you that you don't need to bring your shop, your car to an exhaust shop or something stupid or expensive like that to get a nice exhaust. We're literally going to do this on the sidewalk <laughs> on a hot ass day. And uh, yeah, hopefully, this can teach you how to do it yourself so you don't have to pay more money than you already did for your exhaust damn look at that All right, so here's the uh, blank canvas right here there's my piece of shit Fuck. Show you, to prove to you guys that you can do this literally just on the sidewalk uh, I'm doing this in short shorts and uh, some sandals and any shorts are short from Reno because he's tall as fuck <laughs> so he's doing the same and uh, make sure okay so yeah we have to go. Oh, also the car is hot. It's because we had to, he had to drive to get some jack stands because we didn't have any. Fuck. So yeah, we're going to do it right now. We're not even going to wait for it to cool down. We're just going to fucking do it. I guess so what you need for this is just jacks, jack stands, a basic toolkit, and your exhaust. And a car. Uh, today we're working on the uh, 2016 Scion FRS, the last year of the Scion before they renamed it to the Toyota, the GT86 here in America. So, yeah, let's do it. Alright, so first things first, you jack up the car and you usually do that from the rear diff. Boom, boom. That's it, that's it. You want to get as high as possible so you have the most amount of space to work with. And yeah, we're going to go grab some, there you go, you got a piece of wood to put in front of the front wheel so it doesn't roll and kill me while I'm working under there. Uh, if I had um, like a lift, I would usually like take the whole exhaust off in one piece, but since I'm on the ground, I'm going to divide it and do each section at a time, and hopefully that'll be easier to take off. Let's do that. And now waiting. I'm trying to get these uh, hangers off. I forgot to bring WD-40 or the actual um, exhaust hanger puller tool. So yeah, remember to get that if you're doing this. Makes it a whole hell of a lot easier. So, um, the with the axle back off, you gotta take off the hangers because you gotta reuse them. Because I don't think the new one comes with it. No, you gotta, because it has like this little bulge thing. So you gotta pull it off of that. Like extend it and then pull it off of that, yeah. Now that we've got the exhaust hangers off, I'm gonna go ahead and work on 
getting the rest of the uh, mid pipe out of there. All right, gotta go all the way in there. Big. Hi. So this is a lot tighter. It'd be better if you had four jack stands, but we gotta make new. See if I can get my breaker bar in here, break this loose. Oh, hey, it's lit. Got it. Uh, it's pretty clean down here. Brand new car. <laughs> so we're about to put these together, show you guys the comparison. But look how nice these like welds are. Look how nice the welds are to the flanges. Oh my god. They even uh, grinded it out on the inside so you're not shooting random shit out. Let me show you this compared to the shitty exhaust I got from my S14. It's actually in the car right here. So, sorry for a dirty car, I'm, I'm in the process of moving. I don't have a place to stay right now. But yeah, so here's the welds on these. I mean, it's not not that bad, but you can, you can just tell the quality difference. Like the flanges, not that great. But granted, mine is $200 and his was like almost a thousand. But yeah, nice little comparison. So let's put this together outside the car and then we'll throw it on. <laughs> so muffler. Completely deleted. Oh well, there's some right there, but uh, or those resonators. I don't know. All I know is it f flows a lot more. Nvidia. You got this nice ass Nvidia logoing right here. Um, super nice flanges. 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 Burnt tips. Yup. And these flanges are the same, so you can run the same donut gasket that's already still in there. So that's sick. Yeah, that's that's old one. <laughs> and quality hardware. And the sticker, you can't forget about that nice gold. Yeah. This here. Anywhere? Oh. Yeah. Oh. And that's what the locking back up will go. Fully put together. Um, you want to make sure these are a little loose. So you, um, usually with dual tips, and uh, when the things are already pre-cut like this, you want to leave these loose so you can adjust it, um, and then bolt it down however you like it. If you notice, there's like um, extra room in the bolt holes. That's yeah, exactly. So you can adjust it ever so slightly to make it fit on the pre-cut holes. So yeah, we're gonna put this in right now. Yeah. Keep going. Can you get this part to this hanger real quick? Just as long as you don't scratch the tips. We're gonna flip it up. You gotta get it to this hanger. It's in. <laughs> Alright. It's in. It's in. Hey, I need that. Alright. Woo! Alright guys, I'm gonna lower this baby. And then we're gonna turn her on. Yeah, good.
right, so the most exciting thing that I got today were these Mischief Production decals. Check these out. Check the, that out. The MSP and um, like a broken ship knob and like the, this thing is like a face. Uh, it's like the tack meters, like um, yeah, the, the little needles on your tack and it's like making a face, like the face you make when you do Mischief. And yeah, dude, this is super sick. Um, I got these hooked up from one of my uh, followers or subscribers. His name is Jerome Love. He actually has a YouTube channel. You guys should check it out. He's also building like a super sick uh, 240. And it's it's like super rough right now. So he's, he has a, I don't even know what engine it is, but he has an in, engine ready to drop in it or he's working on the engine. But yeah, he hooked me up with these uh, Mission Production stickers. And uh, I will be selling these for $4 each, I think that's fair, like I gotta go envelopes and everything, and all the money that I make off these stickers will go straight to the build, like, like I, won't, I won't even buy like a pizza or like a fucking soda with them, I just straight to the cars, so yeah, um, instead of, you know, like me going asking for like a GoFundMe or something like that, um, you guys can help me out by buying these stickers, there's not that many, so yeah, there's like 30, and that's all that I'm, I think I'm gonna get of these ones before I start making new ones with uh, Jerome. But yeah, dude, so hit me up. I'll set up an email account where, or PayPal where you can send money and I'll ship these out as fast as I can. We're always talking to these putas fool. I'm over here wrenching and shit. Hey, the come up though. I'm, gonna try, I'm almost done. Let me try that. Uh, 